の未来は誰にもわからない。みんなは僕をダメなやつと思う。鏡を見つめる。Yes, you're not mistaken. What you just heard right now was Midside ducking on the M32. I haven't seen anyone doing it anywhere or talking about it even, so I'm gonna take credit for it because I also didn't think it was possible until someone sent me a message on Instagram. They asked me how can I. Basically, I have keyboards and vocals, and I want to have the vocals. Stay present all the time. So how can I duck the keyboards only in the middle and leave the sides alone? And I told him, you can't do that. Th that's not a feature on the console. But then I thought about it and I was like, yes, you can. You just have to do some fiddling around and make it happen. And also, stay for the end of the video because I have something for free to give to you. Since you clicked on this video, I'm gonna assume that you already know what is mid side. But if you don't, very quickly. A mono signal is one channel, one signal only. Mono. A stereo signal is a left and a right, two signals. And if you have a dual mono effect, which is basically two mono effects in one unit, you can then EQ or compress the left channel differently from the right channel. Mid side is instead of left and right, it's also two channels, but now it's middle and sides. So you can EQ or compress. The middle channel differently from the sides. First of all, I'm gonna split the signal into two parts: the middle or center and the sides. So I'm gonna select bus number one, and then go to the home page, click on link to link it to bus number two. And now this is a stereo pair. I'm gonna do the same thing with three. Select it, link it, confirm. And now three and four are also a stereo pair. And I want both of these pairs to be subgroups. So I'm gonna select the first pair. And then go to the configuration page right here and say that it's a subgroup, and confirm. And do the same thing with the second pair. Select subgroup, confirm. Now I want to send the same channels to these two subgroups. So I have right here a stereo piano. I'm gonna select the first subgroup, click on flip fader, and unmute that channel. Then select the second subgroup. And unmute that same channel. Then I'm gonna turn this off. Now this is still on the main left and right, and these are not on the main left and right. So I'm gonna select the channel and turn off the main stereo button. Then select the first subgroup, turn on the main stereo button, and the second subgroup, and turn on the stereo button. Okay, great. But I have not split the signal yet because I still need to make sure that both subgroups are exactly at the same level. And I want to control them with one fader to make sure that I don't risk changing the balance or the integrity of the signal between the middle and the side. Now, doing this, yes, you can approximately find the zero point, but I'm gonna select the subgroup and click on View under the main section, and then go to the fader and put it at zero. Now this is exactly at zero. I'm gonna also select the second subgroup. And do the same thing and put it at zero. Now these are exactly at the same level, both at zero. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna click on DCA. Then I'm gonna click right here on the bus page on this side because I need to press and hold on the first DCA and then select the first and the second subgroup. And now if I release my finger and click once, these. Bus one, two, and three, four. These two subgroups are on the first DCA, and this is how I will control the level of these buses. But how am I gonna split the signal? How I'm gonna separate the middle from the sides? Because the console works either in mono or stereo, the built-in processing, and the effects work either in dual mono, which is like two mono units at the same time, or stereo. Now the built-in. Compressor has a side chain function and it also has a filter for that side chain, but it is still either mono or stereo, and the effects don't even have a side chain. However, there's one effect, only one effect among all of them, 
that has a mid-site functionality is in mid-site and that is the Fairchild compressor. Now on this console it's called the Fair compressor for obvious reasons they cannot use the same name but it's an emulation of the Fairchild compressor. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on effects and go to the fifth effect and I'm gonna choose the Fair compressor, the MS, M stands for mid and S stands for side. So the mid-side Fair compressor, I'm gonna set it and then I'm gonna put it on bus number one and two. I'm gonna also do the same thing for bus three and four, so I'm gonna select again the mid-side compressor and put it on bus number three and four. And make sure to insert the compressor, don't just select, also make sure to turn on the insert. And also I'm gonna insert this one and I'm gonna click on edit. Now we are on the first subgroup and this is gonna be the middle or the center. So I'm gonna first of all fix the settings of the compressor because I don't want it to compress, I'm just using it to split the signal. So in the middle right here on the first page, this is for the middle, the second page is for the sides. On the first page I'm gonna set the gain to minus 10 and threshold to 0 because I don't want to touch the signal, the time to 1, which is the fastest time, I don't want it to grab it, the bias to 0, and the balance to 0, and the output gain to minus 10. And I found these settings to be the closest to the original signal. It's not exactly the same, but it's the closest in sound and in level. Okay, so I'm going to copy, click on copy, mid to side, confirm. So the same settings are on the side, channel. However, on the sides, because this bus is for the mids only, so on the sides, I'm gonna lower the output gain to the maximum, which is minus 18 dB. It's not all the way down, but it's low enough, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the second bus, so I'm gonna go back to the effects page and edit the second effect. Edit and do the same thing, minus 10 on the input, and zero threshold, and one time, and zero bias, and zero balance, and minus 10 output, and copy mid to side. And now I'm gonna, on the middle channel, lower the output to the maximum. Okay, so the first bus is for the middle, and I have the sides lowered down, so the middle stays the same. On the second bus, it's the sides. So I'm gonna lower the middle and keep the sides alone. Now the signal is properly split between a mid subgroup and a side subgroup. And if you listen to them together, they should sound almost exactly the same as the original signal if you didn't split it. However, we still need to duck or sidechain the middle and leave the sides alone or vice versa. But the insert, the Fairchild compressor, does not have a sidechaining function. So what can you do? You can use the built-in compressor on that subgroup. I'm gonna go ahead and select the first subgroup and remember this is for the mid and I'm gonna turn on the compressor, then click on view and then go to the second page right here and I'm gonna set the key source to the channel that should trigger the compressor. So I have the vocals on channel number 14. So now when the vocals come in, the compressor that is on the first subgroup will be triggered, will start compressing that subgroup. Okay, and as for the settings, you set the threshold based on how loud this channel that the triggering channel is. And I'm gonna set, keep the knee as it is and set the ratio to something like seven. And for the peak versus RMS, I'm gonna select peak, okay? And set auto time for the attack and release and hold, okay? Because I don't care if it sounds pretty or not, the whole purpose of this is to duck the signal, to turn it down. If you want, you can manually set the attack and release time, but it's not necessary. Before you go, I have a gift for you, but before I give you the gift, hit the like button if you found this video helpful. I mean, you're still watching, come on. To make this video reach more people, I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and my gift to you is the presets. I'm gonna give you presets to the Fairchild compressor, to the mid, 
and side and also the built-in compressor for ducking so you don't have to dial in the settings all the time and I'm also gonna give you the whole scene everything I did on the mixer although you don't need it but I'm gonna give it to you anyway and if you don't know how to import export save presets work with presets click on this video right here to learn how to do so and I'll see you there